All right, today is Saturday, June the 1st, 2013. My name is David Faber, and we're going through video workflows here for Rob Burns. And this uh, third video in our series today is going to uh, figure out how to um, handle green screening. So if we go into, actually, I think I'm just going to drag this out onto the desktop here so we can get to it easily. Hello. Just no why. Max or uh, OS X does that occasionally, but it does so. Um, so if we go and look at our uh, footage here, to you'll see that we've got a green screen here. So what our goal here in this video, which I've never done before, I'm gonna have to go look up how to do it, is we're gonna take um, we're gonna take this video and then we're going to put behind it let's unzip um, these uh, resource uh, these assets that uh, Rob sent me here and someplace in here well actually there should be several resources we should have the uh, bumper and trailer and then we should also have the green screen So let's see, and actually I'm going to, we went through in the first video why you should never ever use spaces in file names. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, we got an intro and outro. And virtual set. So this is probably our virtual set here. Let's see here. Yeah, something like something about those. Let's see. To go to quick view here. Yeah, it looks like that. Uh, this is the vir this virtual set video here is what uh, we're going to be putting behind the. Well, something's really funky in these um, these uh, assets here. Let's just for grins go and um, remember FFmpeg is your friend. Uh, let's see what we got here. We're going to introspect inside this puppy here and see what it is. Oh. It is a ping image. So actually it would be far better, far higher quality if instead of the um, video, I actually had that ping image. So I'm going to pause this video for a minute and Skype Rob here and see if I can get a copy of the ping image. So uh, Rob wasn't there. So I couldn't get the uh, ping image, but let's see if we can do. I have. I've. This is the first time I've ever tried this. FFmpeg. Um, I'm going to say the input file as the uh, this uh, Virtual Studio movie file, and then uh, vir virtual set dot ping. Can I do that? Hmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Can I get the frame? I'm going to read online and see if I, if there's a way to extract this uh, ping image here. All right. Well, I wasn't uh, successful in figuring out how to do that, so we'll just take a stab at it here and see if it works. So how are we going to do this? Let's see. Uh, first, we're going to bring up the project, the the second project here that we started on. Well, that, actually, that's the that's the wrong. Um, let's see. We need to bring up. Um, Our project that actually has the uh, release in it. Okay, so first off, we're going to get rid of stuff we don't need. Delete, 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 delete. So now we just, the only thing we got in here is the footage of this little girl. We'll scoot it up a little farther so it uh, doesn't have her mouth open like a perch. Um, We need our intro, we need our outro, and we need our virtual set. And so far, ScreenFlow hasn't crashed, so that's a really good sign. So let's uh, go ahead and save this. All right, so now Let's take this intro. Intro. Okay, and let's uh, get rid of these empty tracks that we have no use for. Boom. Boom. Save the project again. Now we'll roll it to the front. I have no idea why the video footage is starting is stopping there. Um, while the audio bumper is still running, uh, that's a question for Rob to figure out and fix for himself. I, I'm not going to try to fix that right now. But anyway, so we got the the intro running. We got the little girl there. Make sure the outro plays. Okay. Now let's just for grand C make sure that this virtual set plays here. You know, I think, um, you know, what I would recommend to Rob is that whoever set this up to begin with uh, did this completely wrong for getting a really high quality video. I would go to iStock uh, Photo and I would buy a copy of a virtual set uh, piece of stock fo footage that was not um, some cobbled together ping image. It was actually rolling 1080p footage, which is going to look far better than this. And also, this doesn't seem to be um, doesn't seem to be any movement back there. It's all still images, and I suspect that it's supposed to be moving images. And the reason for that is probably oh oh wait a minute maybe did I, oh pfft, don't. 
I added the wrong uh, uh, asset here. Delete, get rid of it. Uh, we want to add the virtual set.mov file. Okay, there we go. Now we got the moving. So to do green screening here, I'm going to have to find an example of it. But what we're basically going to have to do is, um, uh, let's see, how do I insert? Well, anyway, we're going to drag this down here so that we've got an extra track to work with. Now I wonder what happens if, um, actually let's do this. Can I just drag this sucker? Probably not. Can I loop it? Hmm. All right, so anyway, so what we gotta do here is we've got to get um, this piece of footage here to loop for two minutes and 30 seconds or thereabouts. So, we're going to end up putting the footage here and somehow telling ScreenFlow to loop it um, and we'll either lock it to this other piece of footage here or something. I don't know. I've never done this. So I'm going to go and uh, look in the ScreenFlow uh, documentation right now and figure out how to do this real quickly and then we'll wrap this up. To um, uh, say, well, I just did a search here for ScreenFlow Chroma key which is the technical term for green screening and 2013 to limit searches to just uh, recent uh, footage and so then I went and looked in the Telestream uh, the ScreenFlow guide and I searched for Chroma and I found here using Chroma key filter all right, so I'm going to read this, figure out how to do it, and then we'll get her done. Well, this is just crazy easy to do in ScreenFlow. Um, the first thing we're going to do is, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go to the audio properties and bump this up to 300. So what you'll notice, I'm looking here at the it was at 100 so I'm gonna put it back to 100 so this is how it was recorded and see how the audio is flat here I just uh, added a little um, volume to it so that the you know, there's no clipping there in other words clipping there's one clipping point there where it's redlining and hitting the top there but it it basically this is gonna even out the sound a little closer to the uh, intro and outro if I was gonna do a honest to gosh project for myself I'd go through and uh, normalize that intro and outro um, audio to be uh, based on um, a uh, reference level that all broadcast stations use because they aren't actually they don't actually match that. And then I would also um, uh, either normalize the audio inside these tracks, or better, I would just. Um, uh, do exactly what I did here and just raise the level a little bit. So, okay, to do the chroma key, uh, this is crazy easy. We are going to select our video and we're going to go to the video properties up here. We're going to go to video filters, check this out, chroma key. And look at that, it's already set. Um, so what this will do is, uh, let's see, so add video action. Oh, look at that. Ben Pagan teaches in his latest product. Now, if this really just works as easy as I think it does. Oh, look at that. All right, so now here's an important thing to keep in mind is... Um, if I take this um, this video footage and put it here, it's covering up the whole image because it's on top. 
as you're looking, if you think about looking at all these video frames down, you know, stair stepping one on top of another, so I have to put it underneath, and then if you look here, look at that. So we have effectively green screen this whole thing just by a couple of steps. And the step is just to click on uh, video filters and add the default green screen. And voila. Now I'm going to have to go and look in um, the documentations and figure it out how to uh, loop a video, which is probably some other video filter. First time I've used video filters, but that's probably some other video filter. So let's figure this out and I'll restart it then. All right, well, I don't know the right way to do this, but here is one way to do it. So here is the background image. Let's uh, make this timeline a little bit larger to make sure that we're getting this uh, set up at the right. So I'm taking this image here, and I'm going to just grab this thing and be very ugly about it. I'm going to stretch it, and I'm going to set adding and starting transitions again. So at the end of this it fades in and out so um, again Rob you're gonna have to figure out what the deal is on your intro and outro here You know, it looks like that the uh, video for some reason has gotten clipped and I'm sure unsure why that is but um, you know like I said you know you'll you'll have to figure it out so for the time being I'm just gonna go here and see where the video cuts oh actually uh, I can do this I can say uh, where is that freaking feature uh, edit uh, detach audio bang bango sure enough it looks like something's messed up in this video track so um, I've uh, I'm gonna say undo there um, I'm just gonna split this track here delete that and I'm just gonna keep doing that until I actually Put it again, delete. And let's see, I think I can probably add, add a audio filter here. Audio filter. Uh, there should be a fade out or something. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Effect. Well, anyway, um, you know, you, uh, you'll have to look a little bit farther. Uh, if it was me, I would just get this video clip fixed. Um, but um, for right now, we'll just stop it here at the uh, where the video stops. I don't know if I can. Let's. Oh, here. Let's try this. Let's say uh, detach audio. What happens if we do a uh, ending transition on the audio? Got me what that means. Oh, look at that. It did fade out. Hot diggity. Okay, so here, well, let's get back. I'm going to be Burns' best friend after this. bump this up all the way okay so this is the last frame so um, okay we're gonna split the track here which I just type T to split the track and we're gonna delete this side 
and then we're going to um, detach the audio so now the video we're going to add a starting and ending transition and for the audio we're going to add a uh, only an ending transition so if I've guessed right here um, um, like I said this is all new so I'm going to add a starting and ending transition to the outro also we're going to save this Welcome to another PRReach.com video news release in today's news. Evan Pagan Accelerate Bump. And I'm actually going to go, um, well, I mean, that's probably, that's probably okay for, uh, government work, although let's let's just clean it up here uh, I'm gonna remove the ending transition off this there was a little bit of a white background there yeah I guess that I guess that's I guess that's all right Welcome to another PRReach.com video news release into Okay. <coughs> <laughs> Sounds like Rob Coffin in the background. To learn more about this video news release, please visit PRReach.com. <coughs> well, I don't know how to edit that out. Whoever was Rob, it sounds like you were taking the video footage and coughed at the end so that I would have just done a retake on that um, because there's no way I could edit that one cough out. But anyway, you get the idea here, buddy. Welcome to another piece. All right, so uh, that wraps up this video. And then uh, what we'll do in our final video, which will be really short, is we'll take this uh, file here and make a template file out of it. Oops, I guess I better stop the video first. <laughs>